All right, everyone, for December 11th, 2013, uh, it is official now. This is coming out of Washington. I'll give you the headline in a moment, and I'll put the link uh, below. Now, this certainly is not going to win me any popularity contest, if that's what I was seeking. To win a popularity contest and boost my view count and uh, subscribers and to put me over the top, sadly, I see uh, other YouTubers now jumping in on the Comet Iceland bandwagon, many that I have followed uh, for quite some time and had a great deal of respect for. Uh, again, this is not going to boost my ratings, and that's not what I'm here for. I'm just simply here to present the information as I do my own research and a lot of hours of research. Now, I want to mention first NASA, and indeed, they cover things up, they lie, they hide things from us. They're part of this evil government uh, that is part of this new world order. Now, I am the first one to come out when I see a false flag event taking place. How this country, under the direction of Barack Obama, wants to disarm the American people. And everywhere you look on lamestream media news, they're saying how bad guns are. They're showcasing one shooting after the other. And with their crisis actors in the Boston Marathon bombing, I blew the whole Sandy Hook uh, fiasco wide open. I did a lot of time. I put a lot of work. Uh, parts of my videos were used in a documentary on how I broke open the cover-up and the lie of Sandy Hook and um, the Boston Marathon bombing and one event, one lie after the other. This government is evil, and NASA does lie, but I'm not here. If I would jump on the ice and bandwagon with everyone else, my ratings would boost and skyrocket. I would win all of your popularity, but I'm not here to lead you astray. I just want to bring the truth. Now, I'm just going to present this article that came out today. This is breaking information coming out of Washington, D.C., DC rather. And you can see December 11th, 2013, and it is now official. Comet Ison pronounced dead. Sun is chief suspect. If I would jump on the bag bandwagon and revive Comet Ison, I would sure be popular. But let me read this to you. Associated Press, Comet Ison, once optimistically called the Comet of the Century, is dead. The victim of a way too close brush with the sun, it was barely... A year old, the comet, which excited astronomers and the media as it zipped within 730,000 miles of the sun on Thanksgiving Day, was pronounced dead at a scientific conference Tuesday. Astronomers who had followed the ice ball mourned the loss of the sky show that once promised to light up during December. Naval Research Lab astronomer Carl Baddams, who headed the observing campaign for the comet, said Iceland was stretched and pulled by the sun's powerful gravity. It was also hit with solar radiation and the icy snowball just fell apart. At this point, it seems like there is nothing left, Adam said, at the American Geophysical Union Conference in San Francisco. Sorry, everyone, Comet Iceland is dead, but its memory will live on. It's living on, its memory is living on because people are still pumping Comet Iceland because their cells. It sells, and as long as they can keep Comet Ison going and keep you uh, your attention and distracted, uh, they're benefiting greatly at your expense. And that's what bothers me. And you get mad at me, and I'm trying to look out for you. Oh my goodness. Astronomers had hoped it would survive because some, but not most, comets make it past close approaches with the sun. Last year, Comet Lovejoy did. Very important what's coming up here, so I want you to listen. Had uh, Iceland survived, it would have proved good naked-eye viewing in early December for the Northern Hemisphere. Astronomers said NASA had aimed several telescopes and spacecraft at the comet to watch its close brush with the sun, only to find it missing after the encounter. Listen very carefully here. 
because this is a very good point. Comets are balls of dust and ice from the formation of the solar system billions of years ago. Ison was on its first trip after leaving the Oort cloud on the uh, distant fringes of the solar system. Unlike comets that are hardened, keyword here, hardened by several trips around the sun. Ison just couldn't survive its maiden voyage. It had never made a journey that far to be hardened, to worry about this hardened debris in the million mile wide tail. Unlike comets that are hardened by several trips around the sun, Ison just couldn't survive its maiden voyage. Uh, Bottoms said, Ison, about half a mile wide, was tiny and probably smaller than originally estimated, Bottoms said. As the comet neared its closest approach to the sun, astronomers had a sense of loss, and Bottoms called watching it in those final hours a process of heartbreak. Because I care about you, and I care about all of you, uh, the viewing audience on YouTube, uh, you can go ahead and say that uh, um, I don't know what I'm talking about, and NASA is covering this up, and this is a sign of the wrath of God, and the, we're in the Revelation uh, 8, and whatever you will, that I'll continue to come on here because I care about you and just to keep you informed and to bring you the truth truth with no hidden agenda leave me comments once again comet ison pronounced dead the sun is chief suspect washington december 11th 2013.